Before creating this video, I proposed visiting Subfoil to repeat my measurements together. They declined, but did write back, confirming my results were logical. The carbon base plate was secured to the wall, followed by inserting the mast. Next, the quick release pin was inserted and tightened. The shims were correctly adjusted beforehand. Using the standard 73 Kraken mast, I measured a fixed datum from the ceiling down. This was 1,030. Next, a 25 kilo weight was added. Then the distance was re-measured. Here we have the displacement calculated at 31 millimeters. The process was repeated with the 73P mast. This time, when adding the 25 kilo weight, a displacement of 27 millimeters was recorded. The difference was 13%. Based on these data sheets and this next short video clip, I was expecting to see more than 13% difference between the two masts. This mast has basically no more flex. I was under the impression that there was a rigidity problem between the mast and the base plate using just the quick release pin. So I added the two screws that you can put in the rear of the mast base plate. Quick release pin was also left in position. Again, a 25 kilo weight was added than the displacement measured. This time only 20 millimeters was recorded. This table confirms that adding the screws through the rear of the base plate significantly reduces the displacement. This is true for both the 73K and the 73PK mast. So does it make sense upgrading to a 73PK mast? Well, yes, it does, as long as you're willing to put screws into the rear of the base plate. Otherwise, you might as well stick with the standard 73K with the quick release pin and put the screws in the rear of that mast because you will achieve more than just using the 73PK only with a quick release pin. So unfortunately, this would mean that you would no longer have a quick release mast system. This next table shows the results from various other masts I've measured. Interesting is the 72C mast from Sab Foil, which has a relatively low displacement value. I believe one of the main reasons for this is because the base plate is integrated into the mast. When measuring the various aluminium masts, I expected to see a very low displacement. However, it was clear when hanging the 25 kilo weights to the end of the mast that there's a huge issue with rigidity in the mast to base plates connection. Slightly off topic, but also quite interesting, is the thickness of the 73PK mast and the 73K mast. Although Sabfoil literature shows that it measures the same, my results clearly show it's thicker. Sapfoil also wrote that they guarantee the rigidity of the quick release system is more than sufficient. Based on my measurements, I have to disagree. I do think the quick release system is a fantastic concept, but the design needs to be improved. At the end of the day, I still like the Sapfoil products, but know that they could be doing better than what they are today. Hopefully the video wasn't too boring, but it was the easiest way I could think how to convey the information.